What's up everybody? Ivan Neskivi is here. We're in three degree weather here in Bakersfield. Try to stay cool and I'm gonna teach you guys a cool trick tip so you guys could go film for your part or whatever. I'm gonna teach you guys how to front pop nose grind. With the front pop, backside nose grind, one, you're gonna have to learn how to front pop and then you're gonna have to learn how to backside nose grind. Add the two together, you get the trick. Easier said than done, but I'll try to teach you some uh, things that will prepare you for it. So, first you wanna learn how to front pop. Thing with the front pop, back foot is in the back corner pocket. Your front foot's probably in the middle of the board, at least behind the bolts or on them if you'd like. It depends how you do them. So, when you do the front pop, kind of gives you that natural motion once you pop there's this just it kind of sends you backwards so when you do the front pop you kind of land at least step backwards so front pop should look something like this oh tacky let's do another one something like that Front pop. Once you have the front pops down, the thing with the front pop, is, like I said, it'll automatically um, give you that motion of going backwards towards the obstacle. So you get a front pop and just tell yourself, you know, to jump back. You know, you're gonna land on the ledge and then you can pop out. Front pop, back 50, it's probably the best place to start, so let's do that. Okay guys, so the thing with the front pop, backside nose grind, once you get the back 50 down, the front pop, back 50, you know, you just ride it out, pop out. Well, with the front pop, backside nose grind, same thing, you're gonna lean back, but at the same time, forward. So you're gonna stay center above the board and on top of the obstacle you're skating. Um, if you do it earlier in the ledge and you, and you lean too far forward, depending on what the obstacle is, the nose is gonna, gr um, it might slow you down while you're trying to grind through the obstacle. Um, so it's one of those tricks where you have to definitely lock on because sometimes you can overshoot the edge of the, the ledge and you go above it and you do a nose manual or you just ride the ledge. So keep that in mind. So for the front pop, I would recommend doing it at the edge first so it can be really quick. Otherwise, you're gonna have to grind the whole thing out. So it should look something like this. Front pop, back side nose grind. So I just did the edge of it. Um, but like I said, if you do the from the beginning, you might need more speed, more wax, and to stay light footed. And when you get towards the end, kind of give it a little nudge. And yeah, that should, that should help. So the thing with these tricks, um, anything with the shove or front side or back side, it's gonna change the, what you're skating. So if you start off with the nose, you do a front pop, back side nose grind, you're gonna end with the tail. So it's a good trick for lines if you wanna switch it up. So let's say you do a tray flip, you do a front pop with this, right? You end up back on the tail. So maybe you wanna do something off the nose or um, whatever it is you, you wanna do. So. This is just one of those tricks that kind of sets you up for the next trick in a line. And it's stylish, it's cool. Um, so if you guys have any anything you'd like to see, 
uh, comment below share like and subscribe i hope this trick tip was fun for you learning if you have any questions comment below i'm ivan eskevious and i hope you guys learned this trick i hope you have fun doing it on me tofa have a good day peace